Palestinian authorities resigned from the chairmanship of Arab League meetings in protest of the deal struck between the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain with Israel. Palestine was supposed to chair the meetings for the next six months, but Foreign Minister Riyad al-Maliki announced in a press conference in the occupied West Bank city of Ramallah that the country would no longer hold the position. Kuwait and Qatar supported Palestine in the move and refused to preside over the regional organisation. Our sister channel al Mayadeen has the story. The presidency of the Arab League seems to be poisoned. One country after another apologizes for presiding the organization after Palestine rejected that role, because this alliance should be bigger than normalization agenda with Israel. Kuwait felt the weight of responsibility and distance itself from what it has been described as a crime against the Palestinian cause, a crime that cannot be followed by the Arab League. Before Kuwait's decision, Qatar sided with Palestine after the League's rejection to condemn the agreements of the United Arab Emirates and Berint with Israel. Does the Arab League, after having crossed a red line established by all members, will not longer accept new ones, having enough with the allied members that it already has and whose political interests are similar? Recognizing Israel in the region means a recognition of its legitimacy, of normalization with them, and that it may soon become a brother and a member of the Arab League. It is not it's an overstatement to say that the Arab countries, one after another, are systematically disposing of all their principles, sacred lands and the causes of their refugees. The Secretary General of the League rushed into showing support for the vision of the U.S. President, which means supporting the sovereignty of Israel over Jerusalem. Therefore, the Egyptian diplomat Abul Gate, Secretary General of the Arab League since 2016, has lost his credibility as General Secretary and just resignated immediately. That's the opinion of Saeb. Erekat, Secretary of the Executive Committee of the Palestine Liberation Organization. By giving a green light to the alliance with Israel on the military and security front, Erekat thinks that Abu Ghaid has become part of the violation of the League's bylaws, decisions and initiative. Palestinians feel a profound resentment and a bitter sensation of humiliation. The Secretary General of the Arab League insulted tremendously us with these recent statements. Then, why does Abu Ghaid insult Palestinians by accepting occupation into the Arab security system. These actions represent dangerous tweets in the purpose of the Arab League and raises existential questions about its stability, unless it's deeply reformed and its membership linked to the respect of these principles. <laughs>